Hello, and welcome back to more Crusader Kings 2. We're still at war, because civil wars are the new thing, apparently, in Germany. Uh, and I'm still contemplating ruining the, the France as, you know, a kingdom, because France. No one likes it anyway, right? No? Maybe? I don't know. Just, you know, alienate every viewer ever. Suddenly I'm not at war, because she probably died. Her heir is the Duchess of Anjou. That doesn't sound good at all. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and just drop everyone where they are. Probably lost some men there, but I didn't want to have the uh, vassal opinion penalty because currently we're sitting fairly good. This guy hates me, Duke of Anjou, and you know, the fact that he's the heir of this is kind of a problem. But whatever, uh, do I have any claims on Lotharingia? I have claims for these people. I have de jure claims. Ah, because down here, right. Now someone left a comment and explained uh, these claims to me. Like if I claimed this, what was that? Claim Julep. I would claim it for this guy who's my vassal, so he would stay my vassal. Her, she is under a vassal. I believe it's, it's a lower title than me, so she would get that and then be my vassal I believe is how it worked. I don't have it up right now. I would have to pull it up to get exactly what it was said but it's in the comments on the second video? Second or third? Not sure which video. Uh, and it explains how this works. I'm, you know, not a massive source of information so don't look for me on that front. You have to go read that comment. Vassal inheritance warning passes to... Ooh. I don't know what the game's talking about there, but... Excuse me. How do you on there? We're at peace, which is a thing that hasn't happened in ages. I still have this loan. I could expel the jewelry, but... Minus two diplomacy is a pretty big hit. I'll just need to repay that loan eventually. So we have claims against Lotharingi. We have claims against Fraconia, which can pull in several kings, King of Aquitaine, King of Lotharingia, King of Denmark will all join, King of Aragon, so... They're pretty powerful, to say the least. You're in a civil war, aren't you? Claim on Bavaria, probably the same one. Claim on Bavaria, so I can't pull them in. Tyrol, claim on Bavaria? Yes. Presumably Austria as well. So they're all civil warring. You... Or attacking someone for Aragon, apparently. You're attacking, that's Aquitaine. Everyone's attacking everything except for this guy who I have no claims against. I could do some holy wars to gain strength in terms of just pure land. That's not the best place to holy war. In fact, none of these are the best place to holy war because I can only holy war for single counties. Go against Bohemia. No, because they're Catholic now, aren't they? Yeah. So we wouldn't actually get very much land. I would get land. Not very much, though. There are currently no available plots. I own this duchy, right? Duchy of Brunswick, yeah. All these people are... directly under me? Yes. I would rather have the county myself. The, the top level of the county. That would require I kill all, the, all of these people, though, and that's probably not in my best interest. Or my vassals. Not too good. We'll just wait. A child lacks a guardian. Princess Beatrix of Germany. I feel like making you a military person. There you go. Be trained by my marshal, who's probably the best marshal I've had in ages. I also love the fact that I have stuff down here. Do I have claims on stuff down here? I can have claims on stuff. So I could get Crane. That doesn't do me any good, though, because that's not part of the Holy Roman Empire, is it? It is actually part of the Holy Roman Empire. Hmm. Nah. We'll wait. We will remain calm. 
cannot call to war. He died. It's a regent. I'm gonna do a de jure claim on mains. Claim for my aunt, my uncle, my mother. I could claim Franconia for my mother. Princess of Navarra, Queen Mother of Germany. Do I want to do that? Yeah, sure. Let's create let's claim that for my mother. So we'll send, we're at war. Inevitably going to, you know, call in allies against me, but uh, you can just chill for a second. No, don't do that. Don't do anything. Just sit there. I get almost no men from France because they hate me so much. It's a wonder I get anything from France. So we're gathering up men in Nassau. People are probably going to join this because she's still got allies. In fact, kings can join this. But this is probably her weakest moment if I can take advantage of this right now. So just stack all of my men there. I can get some tech. Let's get... Let's get town bumped up and nothing else apparently. And no shipbuildings. I don't care right now. Let's actually kill the other army as well. That's not even her army. Wait, did someone rebel? Someone's claim on Franconia. Someone rebelled <laughs> during this. Okay. You know, whatever. I'm gonna go ahead and... Those people, there's no one leading that, but I'm gonna move them over there anyway. I may actually stack everyone. That's got 700. 700. We'll sit like this for a while. I can still raise another 2,500 if I need to. I just don't want people in France angry because they're already angry. So, that dude's ambitious. Oh, yay! Pretender, true ruler of Germany. I swear to God, this dude. Who are you? Why, why? Desires the duchy at war, limited crown authority. This is why I want to be the direct owner of everything in this duchy. Because it causes people to do this constantly, which is really annoying. Time to raise up these men. We need to end this war first, because if we don't end this war now, I don't care about carrying for the vultures. For now. If we don't end this now, kings have the possibility of joining when they're done with their own thing. With Lotharingi has been in that war for ages. So, so 5th of June, 11th of June. If I just keep doing this, it's a bit silly, but if I just keep doing this, we should be alright. Wait for my troops to get here. It's quite silly, trust me. I lose all of... If I do it the other way, which is move, or pause, move, do that back and forth, it's not... I don't lose the siege progress, but... There we go. Claim on the county? Yeah, sure. I guess we're just gonna do county claims. Take one county. Actually, I can press all claims together, so... We're gonna take this army and go beat up this stack here. Freaking hills bonus, man. Why? Why I gotta be like that? Hills bonus. All right, so they're more or less not really a threat in winning at the moment. So we'll go back to here. Go beat up that army. I'm getting a ticking war score now. I should be anyway, because I own the county capital. A mysterious Jewish man has offered his services. Named Shinoi. Shinoi? Shinoi? Shino? I don't know. I don't know, Shino? I'm an idiot. Anyway. <laughs> what else is new? You can be educated by her. She seems alright. And she's actually done. She's over. That's the end of her war. Now the problem is this dude freaking revolted 
during that, so we're gonna have to take that separately once this is over with. Actually, you siege, you attack. There we go. Because that army has no leaders, so I don't want them attacking anything. They can just chill back there. This army will deal with the remainder. I think they're going this way. One person taking their land back. I don't know what's going on. They're actually sieging that for me. Which is fine by me, I guess. I don't care. So, anyone join this war? A couple dukes. Nothing really big, it seems. Now this dude, I have a claim on him. And I don't have a peace treaty with him because I wasn't technically at war with him. So I can just do a direct de jure claim on him. And he's got no allies, so it won't be a problem. Nothing substantial, anyway. Of course, he's sieging my capital with basically no men, because there's basically no men in it for some reason. Everyone's dying. You can hear the death sound constantly. Welcome to Crusader Kings. I hope you enjoy the sound of death. Construction. No tolerance. I want either legalism or popular customs, probably. I prefer legalism out of those two. Victory! Let's go beat up this stack on my capital over here. Which is gonna get the siege through, but I can siege it back really quick if I get there. He already left, apparently. 41 men managed to defend that. There we go. So basically it's over. I'm just gonna chase this dude around for a little bit. Duke of Saxony owns that for some reason. And this war is over. That was a simple civil war. I approve of simple civil wars. Drop all of you, bring you over here, invite to plot. See the Duchy of Valois granted to a new ruler. Oops. What is this? Oh, that's, I clicked the create title. Which one's Valois? It's over here, right? Duke of Normandy. I thought it was over here. It's your duchies. Where the heck is Valois at? Oh, it's up here. Where is the duke at? You. Do you like me? Yeah, uh, you're alright. I'm gonna decline that. It took ages for me to find that. I could have just searched for title and found it, but... It'll be alright. So once this army's down here, this 3k... Ransom prisoner. My wife. From... This dude. For 10 bucks, I can ransom... 10 gold, I can ransom my wife. Yeah, sure. <laughs> that seemed fairly cheap. I'll go for that. This dude's name is Gundacker. I almost thought it was Guntaker for a bit. I don't... Mm. I'm ill! Hmm. So declare war. De jure claim for her, because it's actually her duchy, so we'll just go ahead and do a de jure claim. And we'll just go stand on it. He's gonna lose that fight to a random army of one of my vassals. Just kind of shows up. Are they actually fighting him? They're fighting him with me, but... Very well, I shall be merciful. You can thank me later. Let's see... My laws, elective monarchy, you no know, vassals are fighting each other. I can do that with medium crown law. I have to rule for ten years. I don't know how long I've ruled. Probably not long. I'm no longer ill! Hooray! This is our duchy, and it's my mother, so she's gonna generally like me, and it goes to me when she dies, so it doesn't really matter. Um, my spymaster has eight? Eight. Why does my spymaster have eight? It's gonna make people unhappy because I have to click that button, but... Whatever. I'm also gonna go ahead and give my spymaster money because he doesn't like me. Why do you not like me? Infidel. You're Jewish. 
Interesting. And you can't convert Jewish people to anything, ever. You can convert people to Jewish, you cannot convert them out of it. It is not possible. So, I just... He's Jewish, but... Having Jewish people in your council is good because they provide uh, random bonuses. So, Spymaster actually has some pretty good random bonuses, so hopefully those trigger before he tries to assassinate me, that'd be great. France is all sorts of messed up. There's duchies where there shouldn't be duchies. Okay. What happened over here? Orthodox? Or an Orthodox Jerusalem? Most interesting. The Queen of Georgia. Which is all but dead, for all intents and purposes. It has chunks of land here. And has created an Orthodox Georgia. So... The Muslims can now declare jihads. So that'll go well for King of Queen of Georgia, I should say. Now, the Byzantine Empire will join to defend, because it is Orthodox. Uh, but I don't think they're in any position to help. Because they're so fractured. These people are all independent, so the Byzantine Empire is basically worthless. I like how effective this 3k is. It's quite nice. I can actually get a little bit more, but it's already pretty expensive. And there's the Holy Order for the Muslims. Pretty good Holy Order. Very cavalry heavy. All of the Holy Orders are very, very good because they have so many heavy, cav heavy cavalry in them. It's crazy. Peace Treaty. We surrender. Princess becomes Count Wolfram's new liege. So that war's over. And I didn't raise any levies, so... We'll just park there. Be fine. Righty ho. I still have de jure claims against Lotharingia, but Lotharingia is now whole, and it is Carling. Right? Yes. So they have all of the Carling, you know, all the kings, all allied to each other. Generally not good. I could probably take them, yeah. If it weren't for those allies, but over de jure claims, there's no reason to risk that crap. Now what I could do, is, you know, anyone who isn't currently married, I could try to marry in matrilineally, matrilineally to something and try and work my way into that, but that is not for now. So have they declared a holy war, or are they defending? You are currently defending against Count, someone's claim on Georgia. I like the random chunks of land Georgia now owns for some reason. It's a little bit weird. And this empire is pretty much crumbled, so Asturias is in a very good position to expand, which is fine, I don't care. A call to arms from the King of Burgundy, which is apparently my brother-in-law. House Bossanid is expanding. That is my house, right? No, Ludofinger. Oh well, it's my brother-in-law of your rent. Um... Duke? Someone of Daphne's war for Burgundy. Sure, I'll join. You've already won the war. Why have you invited me? Whatever. I get a bonus to opinion for joining, so... Honored Alliance, plus 25. The dude loves me. Speaking of loving me, how are my vassals doing? Alright, everyone's positive opinion, including French people, despite their desire to get me killed. Why are you in prison? I don't know, let's release this dude because it'll make people like me. Is anyone else in prison? Yes, you. Why are you in prison? These are probably the people who just revolted against me. I'm just going to go ahead and release them. I hate this dude. <laughs> With a passion, my character has a terrible opinion of him, but whatever. Your spy master here, you yeah. go. Seems to have friends and informants inside every Jewish community in Europe. Messenger pigeons arrive at his boat on a daily basis. So, excellent work. We get some military tech. And this is why it's so good to have Jewish people on your council. 
There is, of course, the opinion penalty to think of, but... Is that my queen? No. I inherited the duchy. Is that what happened here? I did. So we're going to find someone to just give that duchy to. Um, is there a castle here? A barony? Go ahead. Created this guy. He likes me alright. Grant land title. Duchy of Franconia. My heir is... His heir is me because that's how that works, but... Arrange marriage between you and someone. The princess of Germany at the age of 61. My aunt. A courtier in Germany. You're a pretty good one. You're maimed, though. That's a problem. You can, you can have her. There you go. Have fun. Have fun with her. Any claims on him? Helen Ludolfinger is no longer... You were the one... Gar I just married my guardian off. Um... It's Ingne. It's a name I've seen before, I think. I don't believe I had her as a military person. I think that's the other one. It's Pint Princess Beatrix, who's got pretty good stats. No longer guardian of my heir. Educate you. What are your traits looking like? Pretty bad. You're envious. That's it. It's a good sign. I really want elective monarchy. Still haven't reigned for ten years, so... You know you could just end this war? That would be good. I mean, you've already won. I don't know what you're fighting. It's 100% war score. He's still going at it. I'm just passing time, by the way. More tech. I don't know, for legalism, how much do we need? A lot. Stop our cavalry. We'll be fine. I like those little bits down here that I own. It's a peasant revolt. Let's look at opinions. How do people feel? Generally alright about me. Germany is fairly happy. This dude hates me. Probably because I took land from him at some point. Overall pretty good. The Pope thinks I'm alright. I owe money to Jewish moneylenders, which I can almost pay back. And I won't have that on my mind. My income is almost nothing. Jihad for Anatolia. Not for Jerusalem, though. Anatolia is over here. They're actually going straight for the Byzantine Empire. May your humors rot in your living body. Aw. I've discovered a plot where... Six... Dur dur. I don't really care. He's going straight for the heart of the Byzantine Empire, almost. One of the stronger kingdoms in it, but, you know, there's not much there. The question is, will they win? And the answer is, nobody knows. Sadly, my marshal died. Which sucks. Oh, no, that's my steward. My marshal's still alive. Good lord, this dude's a 54-year-old marshal. It's that extra health he's getting. Research economy. Where did that go? Did that go anywhere? I don't think it did. It just kind of vanished. It's alright. So a claim on that county. Move to the next. If I can get all three claims before I do anything, that'd be great. I actually have a better guy. What's your percent? 16% yearly. I should also be having feasts, but I keep forgetting to. Hold a feast. There we go. War from Burgundy thing has ended. I like how it's. this is the three kingdoms that are... Technically there's five, I think, or four. These are the three main kingdom areas that are part of Francia, but one of them is just marked Germany. I'll spend lavishly on food. I invite everyone. Everyone will come. Welcome to my feast. Um, steward, court, or something or another, and just Bishop Alara drunk too much wine. Huh. You threw up on his shoes. You filthy man. What's that? Auto saving is what that is. And it vanished instantly. Uh, this duke has made me angry. I'm his heir. Oh, that's the guy I just put in. What is this? Duchy of Valois granted to a new ruler. As much as I hate you, 
You just keep spamming that. This bishop, man. No problem with bishops and drinking. He does not appreciate my hospitality. That fool. Does he not know how hospitable King Moomin of Germany is? If you didn't know Moomin is actually German, he's not British. Just say no. I like how Hungary still has chunks of land over there. Perm is doing something weird. Sometimes there's multiple perms, which is a fun thing to see. No major power has actually really established itself. Let me actually, it's been paused, I just noticed, but let me check something here. Independent realms. What I want. I should also look at inheritances. So the strongest is the Arabian Empire at 21k, 15k Byzantine, and then me at 12k, and then Italy. Which is crazy. So barony, county, duchy, I don't really care about those. I can become charitable. I am already charitable. So I will make this man like me more. He already loves me, but I'll make him like me even more. I asked the guests to return home and everyone agreed that it was it was this year's greatest feast. So tons of diplomacy from that for a small amount of time. It only lasts until next year. Uh, but everyone will have a bonus opinion from that and a bonus opinion from state diplomacy. So fabulous feast. And I've not met a more fabulous, fascinating person. I've now improved diplomacy. Technically I haven't, but, you know, that's what it says. So, for a year I've fulfilled that diplomacy issue thing. Italy doesn't even have de jure Italy, does it? Not quite. Other than the fact that it's perpetually a war, but... I am stronger than Italy, but I'm not stronger than the Carling dynasty. Let's check that, actually. Where's the dynasty's button? There it is. So there's the Carling Dynasty. It's this. So one kingdom, two kingdom, three kingdoms, technically. So they've lost a lot of power. I'm two kingdoms, alone. Somewhat. Somewhat two kingdoms. They've actually lost quite a lot of power. There's like a billion Carlings still left alive, but... They've lost a lot of power. Look, same dynasties. All of these people are all Carling. They're just all duchies. Duke of Orleans, Duke of Anjou. So they're all... I have Carlings under me, which is kind of annoying, but... I have a weak claim on the Kingdom of Navarra. I don't want to go to war with Asturias, to be honest. The allied with the King of Aquitaine. 55. 33. I don't have to bribe him. And that gets me land over there, which I, don't, I really don't want. It's only three counties. The Kingdom of Navarra is only three counties, I'm pretty sure. The Cathar religion, he's mad, arrest him. Freaking court chaplains, man. They're impossible to keep. I'm almost to the point where I can get legalism, which shortens my short reign years is the big thing. It also increases my domain, but... I still... I don't have, like, any claim on these, do I? Is that the problem? I want these counties in this duchy. I want them under direct control of me. So I am more powerful myself. Because the thing is... When they form these factions, it's comparing the overall strength of them compared to me. So a large chunk of this vassals gets taken out because that's them. So I want I want a lot of domain strength, but it's kind of hard to keep track of, I guess. I have two issues here. Two counts going out? That'd be fine. What I really want is I really want to change... Ooh! Elective monarchy. No vassals are fighting each other. Hmm. If I do this, vassals can no longer fight each other. They'll vote for it, eventually. There they go. I 
think we have to wait for the wars to end. Or I may have to actually do that in France as well. Yeah, I may have to do that in France as well. We'll give it a little bit. We'll wait. Just, you know, let the vassals calm down a little bit. Be a little bit happier. If these idiots weren't in perpetual war, I'd go ahead and change the secession laws here. She became an intricate web weaver. Good job. Proud of you. You can also create the Kingdom of Brittany. Why I would want to create another kingdom and make more people angry at me, I don't know. You do need two kingdoms to uh, create an empire. Two kingdom titles, but it's not much of an issue. I actually own more of Germany than I think de jure Germany owns. <laughs> I own more land than de jure Germany owns around Germany, I should say. Holy man came to court today to talk about matters of faith. He's Catholic. Oh no, that's my chaplain. Never mind. A pagan came to my court. My chaplain now likes me more. Congratulations. I haven't looked at this in a while, actually. I inherited a bunch of people from... France when I took that, but I think they've all basically dropped off the map because I haven't been paying attention to this at all. We've still got this guy. Cardinal Herman of Osnabrück. Brook? Brook? Hmm. I could put stuff in the campaign fund. I think I'd rather pay off this loan. So that'll actually help a little bit just innately paying off that loan makes my church vassals like me a little more. This dude doesn't though, because he desires the king of France. The jihad for Anatolia fails. I wonder how badly it failed. If it failed really bad, I could actually check the ledger for strength here. Independent states. But not actually that much lower. I'm lower because people don't like me as much anymore. And Mauritania is up there. I don't even know where that is. You literally have no idea where that is, so we're not even going to try to look for it. In the meantime, if you could get a claim on that last county, that would be great. So I could press all claims. Currently, I have two claims for that. This dude has a claim for it. I don't care because I have a claim for it. So I would get two counties, two additional counties in the Empire, I believe. Yes, that's part of the Holy Roman Empire. Which is my plan. It's my original stated goal was to get the Holy Roman Empire. Which what I really need is I really need Bavaria for that, because having Bavaria would put me up there almost right up to it. Gold pours from my hand but never finds its way back. My wife has offered to help me. Ah, yeah, sure. I'm now content. Again, I think. It's the 70th time I've been content, I think. My steward? Why do my stewards keep dying? It's kind of annoying. France is at war. France is always at war, though. Vassals are still fighting each other, because of these people over here. If I change that, it's going to make the people in France dislike me more. The people of France dislike me because I have this title, and I can't change that title because we're on... I'm... what? The Duke of Mercia. Apparently the Prince of Germany. He really hates me, because I usurped his title, apparently. I don't remember doing that, but all right. I suppose I did at some point. Oh, he must have been the guy that was here. What was it? It was this place? This duchy? This must have been him. I don't think we're going to get happy vassals and... Yeah. We're just going to have an issue here. I could make them happier by lowering the levy, but then that makes me drastically weaker, and I'm already fairly weak because they dislike me. So overall, 
not doing too well here. This is my kill, get prestige, no effect, bloodlust, or da -der. we'll send out my best hunter. Or I could get piety. I think I'd rather have prestige as a Catholic. I don't much pay attention to piety, so the peasants will finish it. Or I could get Master Hunter. I'll take the chance for Master Hunter, because why not? It's only a 5% chance to be wounded. I am proud of my hunting abilities. Have a feast. All my vassals will be there. This is basically what we're going to do. We're going to have a bunch of feasts. The musicians were good. They were looking for a patron. I will pay you. I'm a king with very little gold, but I'll pay you anyway. I'll spend lavishly on food. I will invite people. Maybe the people of France will likely like me slightly more because I had a fabulous feast. It's highly unlikely, but... Serp the title. It's freaking people in France over there. The serpent titles left and right. A serpent duchies left and right. Welcome to my feast. How dare the bishop insult me by not taking more wine. Obviously the guy doesn't like wine. Wine, stop inviting him. Gain the trait Gregarious, which is the opposite of something I have, isn't it? I gain Prude. I'd rather have Gregarious. That's extra, extra diplomacy for nothing, basically. Apparently it's not the opposite of something I have. Oh well. Still arbitrary. I wish I was not, in fact, still arbitrary. It's kind of annoying. The Duchess of Upper Burgundy... Hmm. The Princess of Burgundy, who is quick. She's also six, so he'll be 26 when she's of age. Yeah, sure. I have a daughter who's almost of age. How useful! King Moomin's doing alright, actually. Apart from that early scuffle with basically everyone. Seems to be holding it together alright. No longer Chancellor. Gosh, darned it. Wow, you're a good Chancellor. Six... No, wait, that's the wrong one. 19. Okay, I was about to say 68% chance. By God. But that's the one I never use. Improves diplomatic relations. I should use it to keep uh, dukes in line, like this guy. I think it's generally easier to just... You know... Bribe people. My vassals are still fighting. Who's fighting? You. I can Duke of Anjou. Apparently someone in Germany is fighting someone in France. Alright, whatever. I need you to stop fighting. So I can have elective monarchy. I guess it's not, it's not really important at this point. I need elective mon monarchy in France is what I need. In order to have that, I would need them to stop fighting each other, which likely means I would need medium crown authority. And I would need to bribe people so they would stop being angry at me. Lotharingia is at war. With who? Itself? Many things. A peasant revolt? Someone's claim on Bavaria. To be honest, I hope they win that claim on Bavaria. No, it's in favor of him. By a lot. Probably should have been paying attention to that. Oh! I guess he just gave up. Alright, do I have war things? I could claim this. Duchess Beatrix of Baden. I can claim that for her. She's already got more land than she should. I could claim this for some really old guy who probably won't live. I could claim Austria. I could claim Bavaria for a Carling. Now that's an equal title to me, so that would cre that would just leave Bavaria there. I have such a high chance of killing him. This heir is female. Let's do it. That would leave Bavaria there, and it would just put someone else in the throne, basically, if I am understanding that correctly. So there's not much reason to do that. I could push a claim on something. 
I, I want to push a claim on this, but it's for the Duke of Baden, which is Duchess Beatrix. So, she's all right with me. So, are you allied with anyone? You're a carling, so you're allied with everyone and their freaking mother. Of course you are. God dang it. Fabulous is what I say to everything. What's the plot power on that? A lot. Frightened off the maid with his wailing. He's a child, I suppose. He has the right to wail. Fabulous, apparently. <laughs> Everything is fabulous. Oh. A liberation revolt. Fourth liberation of Brittany. Oh. How rude. Um, I'll raise everyone. I'll hold control and raise everyone so I don't accidentally raise people into him. And we'll gather an Anjou. Should be far enough away to be safe. Succeeded with the plot to kill the king of Bavaria? The world is too cruel a place for children. And now the king... Well, actually, it's a queen. Queen of Bavaria. All of her vassals hate her, I'm sure. Except for you, for some reason. Because you're female, that's why. Females don't care if other females are ruling. It's a thing. She's still a Carling, though, which sucks. She still has all these all these alliances. It's all right, though. I'll just leave Bavaria there. What's going on with Swabia? Are you independent? You are independent. Do you have any allies? You have your Carling. Why is everyone a Carling? Everyone and their mother seems to always be a Carling. Just perpetual Carlings all the time. Are vessels still fighting each other? Yes. Vessels are always going to be fighting each other. It's never going to end. It's just going to be constant back and forth of territory. Much to my demise. It's kind of annoying, to be honest. People leading this? Yep. Relatively decent people. But you... You go there and you go there. This guy's really good. Really, really good. Also, you cannot escape. For we are too good. Victory and such and things. This is going to be the world's easiest peasant revolt. And I raised a billion men for it. There you go. Drop all the men. Take you. Carry you back over here. Because this guy is independent. And we have de jure claims on him. I really wish he would be vassal. Oh, is he revolting? Taking King of Aragon for someone's claim on Urgel. Hmm. Okay. Asturias is kind of snaking around and Toledo exists. Interesting, that's not a thing I see all the time. Just Toledo popping out of nowhere. And usually by this point Asturias has split into Castile and all that and Portugal and whatever it is. Oh, it's known as Portugal. With a G rather than a C. How many religious problems? Nope. It's Catholic over there. Because Hungary, that's why. Orthodox is actually spreading. Are you Orthodox? You are Orthodox. Interesting. So Orthodox is, despite what it normally does, actually expanding. <laughs> So used to it not doing that. I will, however, declare war on this guy. We had this county claim. Eventually, we're going to need to sort that out. Is your claim on Ulm? That actually sorts out the county claim for us, I believe. We become Countess Ingne's new liege. She owns this, doesn't she? No, stop with the diplomacy thing. Who owns this? I don't know. Yes, her vassal owns that. So doing that claim would actually give us the county claim as well. So we'll pop that. I will actually raise my German men. Once again, not raising France because I don't want them to hate me any more than they already do, so... 
We're actually going to head straight to Ulm. The, of course, the problem is from Ulm to there is a river crossing, so we'll have to wait for him to go somewhere. Otherwise, I'm just going to siege Ulm, which apparently has a billion defenders in it. It's a well-defended fortification. Who joined? Lotharingia? Who's that? Not just his men decided to show back up. He's got a fair chunk of men, to be honest. Or someone with relatively little territory. However, he's about to have a whole lot less men. Oh no, he's got a hills bonus. Oh no, he has no men. Oh, my marshal died. I wonder if he was leading that. That guy's leading it, I know that for a fact. Yeah, he died in battle. Darn it. He was a good man. You know who's a really good man? The Duke of Gelray. Where did you get 1,500 men from? I don't know. I still don't have a siege leader, which is irritating to no end, but whatever. Marriage? The Prince of Hungary to my daughter? I actually would like you to marry matrilineally, so I'm going to decline that. I could marry into many kings, actually. My Benny, I mean two. Um, let's see. Prince of Navarra, Prince of Scotland. Probably not the heir, but, you know. A Sayyid? Really? This character is patrilineally descended from the Prophet Muhammad, and he's orthodox. Most interesting. Um... I think we will marry into Scotland here. Or Italy, actually. Um, that would take 16 years. She'd be so old, but it would be matrilineal. She wouldn't have any chance to make children. We'll go with Scotland. It's really quite far away, but, you know, Scotland. Why not? And it's matrilineal, so I'm basically just getting more children. So, Princess Beatrix of Germany and Prince Uhtred of Scotland. That's probably not how it's pronounced, but that's how I'm pronouncing it, so deal with it. What are you at war with? The Dinian claim on Nuremberg. She's actually attacking the King of Bavaria for her own claim on that. That's fine. I mean, I might help you in a second here. Nope. 24th, 14th. Excuse me, sir. 26. There we go. Oh no, I've lost the trait Zealous. That's bad. This guy's probably aggressive against her. Mm, actually, yeah, she is aggressive against her because she's part she's my vassal, so. I didn't want her attacking. I didn't want this dude attacking my mother, actually. I believe that's still my mother. I just... Oh no, that's Beatrix, that's right. Who's matrilineal, matrilineally married into Scotland now. It kind of sucks that I lost that uh, Aquitaine has been pulled into this war. Which means I need to end this now. It kind of sucks that I lost the siege progress on that, but I wanted to protect her, so... And it looks like she's actually pulled in several people into this war. Yeah, she pulled in a ton of dukes, almost entirely from France, actually. No, she got Saxony. So she should easily take Nuremberg, which is good. We'll actually get two counties and that uh, castle over there. And we now have a claim on the final county there, so we can take all three of those. Um, we'll put a claim on that. Hopefully we can get a duchy claim on that guy, because he's been independent for ages. It's just, although, his heir is not of his dynasty. His liege, and that would go to Italy. Hmm. That's not something I'm willing to fight, is Italy. Especially not in Italy that is Carling. That's not Carling, actually. Still king of Bohemia, Bohemia though. Bohemia is tiny. So maybe I could handle Italy. Either way, we're about to win this war, we'll get Ulm and that, and then they're about to win their Nuremberg War. We'll accept. You are now my vassal. How much do you like me? Not a whole lot. Because I'm arbitrary. That's probably standard, of course, by this point. Okay. 
Germany grows more powerful. How's my progress towards the Holy Roman Empire? Probably not much more than it was before. 37%. I need 80%. And gold. But, you know, I can get gold eventually. Five of my counties aren't actually in the De Jure Empire, which is not really helping me, because they're part of a different one, but... Those three will help tremendously. I'll go ahead and start moving over here, actually. I'll just sit there. It's fine. Those three will help tremendously. Those two will help a little bit. Does he own those two as well? He owns this? Yes. Well, this is flag. Why is that a different color? Duke of Brabant, County of something. He doesn't actually own Brabant, he just owns the Duchy of Brabant. Which is a bit weird. <laughs> to say the least, that's slightly odd, but, you know, whatever. Legalism. You know, tolerance actually probably wouldn't be bad either. I can almost get that, so there we go. Let's top that up. Because that'll help with uh, differences in culture. So short reign is now lower. Where is someone from France? Duke of Orleans. That foreigner penalty there. That lowers that. So most of my, all of my vassals actually love me. I can do elective monarchy. I mean, I know who I'm going to elect, but let's go ahead and do elective monarchy. I will vote for my son. Because he's actually, you know, he's not got a lot of traits, but he's decent. He's got crazy high diplomacy. Eight base, which is already pretty good. Now, France is still gavel kind. I can make it elective monarchy, though. Let's do that. I will elect my son again, but it doesn't matter because I'm really quite tempted to just destroy this. It'll cost 400 prestige and everyone in the Kingdom of France will hate me. Is that permanent hate? If they permanently hate me, that's probably not my best interest. Change to elective is going to make some people happy and some people angry. Yeah. We'll just have to let that sit out. I don't know if it's permanent hatred if I destroy the Kingdom of France. The reason I want to destroy the Kingdom of France is to get rid of these desires the Kingdom of France penalty. Because I don't want France. I want the Holy Roman Empire. Which, you know, I would prefer the Kingdom of Bavaria. If I had the Kingdom of Bavaria, I would leave it. I don't want to do that. I want to release you. Demand religious conversion. That's what I want to do. Do I have anyone who's actually imprisoned for any reason other than being a heretic? No. So, I'll have to- I'll wait on doing that, and someone in the comments could maybe possibly explain that to me, or I'll figure it out between this video and the next one, but... I've got plenty of years to go, unless I get horribly sick or murdered, but... It's become a great imminence. So... My heir should like me a little bit more. Apparently not. Outrage by secession law change minus 100, but you're the you're the heir still. I don't know what your problem is. This could be slightly problematic for the Kingdom of France because again, one marshal because they don't like me that much and they presumably don't like my. What happened here? Did you join under him? No, he changed. No, it's a different guy. Never mind. They presumably don't like my son, either. However, we are going to press all claims. My vassals are not terribly happy with me, so maybe we'll wait a bit. Run on speed 5 for a little bit, which means everything goes really, really fast. It's a say it like that, by the way. It is a written law that it must be said like that. I'm just waiting for this vassal levy penalty to go down a bit. Oh! Oh wow, she actually took a bunch of land. She took two chunks of land. I think. No. Bavaria, the Duke of Bavaria? Duke of Bavaria. Queen of Bavaria. Okay. So there's actually two Bavarias which are currently at war with each other. Whatever floats your boat. Germany has grown. 
I have unlanded sons, I can create the kingdom, I don't care, I have a weak claim on the kingdom of Hungary. My cousin. No. County of Crane. That's that stuff down there. Claim Julik. Might not be something bad to claim, actually. That's not for now, though. I'm gonna go ahead, declare war on this guy, press all claims. Raise all men. Everyone meet there, except for you guys, which are gonna meet over yonder. This is gonna cause some vassal opinion problems. I can call in Italy. Yeah, sure, why not? I may actually lower my levies. Who are you? Aragon. What? King of Aragon. Oh, apparently he instantly called the King of Aragon in. Shouldn't be too much of a problem. Some cultural tech points. I approve. Shipbuilding, I don't care about. What's going on here? Being attacked. Let's make sure we have our best men here. No one who's craven. This dude's got tr crazy bonuses. Leading the center, massive bonus, defense bonus, a moral defense bonus, a moral damage bonus. So those are all good. I think we should win this fight. 21st. They'll arrive a little late, and then these guys will arrive a little after that. I think we should win that, so we're just gonna sit there. Italy... What? I thought I called Italy in. Prince of Italy. Oh. Ah, oh, well, it's something. Yes, we completely decimated that fight. And the reason we completely decimated that fight is because we presumably had better commanders, because our commanders are amazing. Especially that center flank commander is amazing. That's something you don't really want to fight on the battlefield, is that guy. So we're going straight for the double siege here. We're going to slow boat it. Should probably attack that army there, but we'll sit here and wait. What is that? A gentian army and a marriage offer. My daughter to the Prince of Scotland. Marry matrilineally. Yes, please. Who's that guy's heir, actually? Out of curiosity. Not the one I just married. That is probably his brother. My son-in-law. I don't know who it was. It was. Prince of Scotland. I can call in allies. Scotland. Probably likes me. I'm not going to, though, because it'll make them like me a little bit less. And there's no reason to. Kingdom of Lotharingia, Kingdom of Bavaria. I have claims on kingdoms. Well, I don't have claims. I have weak claims, which are probably for vassals, but it's alright. I should slow the game down, because that's a lot of stuff's happening. Um, church is not, force is not big enough. I can make this baron dislike me a little bit, or my bishop. I'm going to side with the bishop. Bishop has a slightly lower opinion than the baron does. Once we've got this down, I'll go ahead and attack that army. There you go. He actually got away. I was moving my little earbud. He's gonna go and try and re-siege this, which... Good luck with that, dude. <laughs> How did that work out for you? Now I can just sit on that. 69% war score. Victory, 90%. King of Aragon's not even gonna do anything. And he surrenders, so... I'm going to have a whole bunch of counties. And I'm going to keep those counties. They are mine. Do those vassals like me? Probably not. Eh. Let's see. We're going to sit in Brabant for right now. Germany is expanding. Faster than it used to be. I've got this a little bit under control. We're now at 43%. None of this land is in any way, shape, or form actually technically helping form the Holy Roman Empire. It's just providing troops. Which are useful. I will admit. They are useful. Why can I not usurp this title? Did I get the title? Do I hold the title? Hold the Duchy of Brunswick. Two kingdoms. County, 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 county. 
Sweden? Why do you own Denmark? Why are you losing to this? What is going on in Sweden? I don't know. I don't care. We have something we can do here. We have many things we can do here. Claim Lotharingia for you, a Carling. Don't care. So I can claim Julik for like 74 different people. All of which are fairly old, or the Duke of Colne, which loves me. It's already sieged down, though. There's not a whole lot I can do. I mean, I can join that and then just kind of wallow around because it's sieged down and I won't be able to do anything, but I think we'll just wait. But you, can I do anything with you? No. We wait. Hey, you've aged! Queen Pernet of Bavaria and King Gurgli. Gurgli! Gurgli. I could claim that. I could claim the capital. Claim Austria. Actually, this is Aquilia, so that would be a county claim. Austria also has this highlighted. What's going on here? Not you. Who is it? Is it you? Duchess of Austria. Oh, the Duchess of Austria owns that. So if I take Austria, I get both of those. Hmm. Do you have any friends? Defending against Duke Hugus the Fat. Duke is winning. Defending against Earl. Earl is winning. And freaking Lancaster? Why is she in that war? What's going on there? I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna declare war. I'm gonna claim Austria for... Who are you? 71. Yeah, we're gonna do that. Declare war, claim Austria, send... Going to... Raise nobody and see what we can get with that. we are just gonna use my... Retinue, which I should probably expand a little bit. What do I have? I need more defense. So grab a stack of that. You guys can meet in Nuremberg. Nuremberg! That's not how that's pronounced at all, I'm sure. I like how Duke Ludwig is like the leader of my most powerful single unit of military force here. Rather than me. If I was Muslim, I'd probably lead it, because having martial traits is pretty helpful. So what's her capital? This down here. So we're going to go straight to Aquelia. It's going to be a long march. Presumably people are going to join this war, which is going to be moderately irritating, but we're just going to sit here. Like a new super title. That. He's at war, apparently. Is he at war with me? He's at war with the king of Lotharingia. For someone's claim on Lotharingia. Alright, whatever. We're just gonna sit here. Vassal levies. I could actually probably raise vassal levies because they're so low. And I would just use the German ones because France is too far away. We'll just sit here and wait. How many men does Swabia have? A lot. Oh no, they don't. They have barely any. But... Lotharigia and Aquitaine armies are there as well. Are they at war with me? Are they aggressive to me? They're not at war or aggressive to me, they just happen to be in the same stack as someone who is. It is rumored that a great warrior from the distant east is currently passing through Lundberg. He is said to have taken part in a hundred battles. This man must be found. I will have him. Gosh darned it. What? I look up here and then suddenly this is green and I'm very confused. The King of Gardriki. He's Norse. Kingdom of... That is the de jure Kingdom of Gardriki. However that's pronounced. Is that, which is what normally would form Russia, I would presume, which is apparently now Sweden. And actually technically Denmark more than Sweden, but... You know. Surprisingly decent progress on this uh, siege, likely due to the large amount of archers we have. 
archers help tremendously in sieges, so if you want an entirely sieging military, you would stack archers. So you can make an entire retinue with skirmishers and go for sieges. Mysterious Jewish man is offered his services. What is he? Where is he at? Should be the only Jewish person. person. Oop. 17. He's not as good as this guy. He's also Jewish and has 18. So, is there anything else he can do? Let's see. 8, 12, 2, 17. No, I could make him a marshal, but he's not that good of a marshal. Actually, you know what? We will do that. We'll take you. We'll make it the Jewish dude. There you go. You can research military tech. So that frees up my... What used to be the marshal for actually leading troops. Which is fine. I approve of that. I wish I had some tea. Let me get some tea after this. I've been talking way too long today. That's alright. Um, Prince Bishop someone someone is trying to assert my title. I could bribe him, I can try and kill him. We're gonna try and kill him, because I don't have a lot of money. I... Uh ha -huh. It was successful. Like that slow aha. Uh -huh. I'm also surprised Italy hasn't tried to place a de jure claim on this county here. My liege, the people have given us free technology. I can get majesty. I'm good on majesty. Good on trade practices too, because I don't have any trade. I have not made a republic, it's just Amalfi in Venice, which is currently mostly Amalfi. Just seriously, Amalfi is destroying Venice on the trade front there. It'll be alright. He's now my new court chaplain. 22. Ooh. Um, yeah, you're, you're good. You can be the court chaplain, it'll be alright. Do you have a title yet? Nope, you're still just King Moomin of Germany. Trying to improve your marshal for the last, like, billion years. We're done sieging that, we're gonna head up here, siege this down. We may actually fight that army there. It is a Bavarian army. Yeah, we'll go ahead and hit it. 22nd of December, we will hit it indeed. And we'll siege this other chunk of land. We should get a ticking war score now, I believe, because we have occupied Aquelia, and she's going to surrender. We surrender. So Christine von Bregenz gains the Duchy of Austria and the County of Aquelia. So we'll close that, click accept, is she independent? She is independent. Ah, well. She's independent and friendly, and her heir is King of Lotharingia. Ah, well. Maybe you should make me your heir. No, I'm kidding. I misunderstood how that worked, apparently. I have no Casas Belli on that. The other thing I was hoping was, uh, she has, like, no family at all. <laughs> she has no children, she has no siblings, no nothing. She's alone and really old. So if it didn't just go straight to me, I was hoping, you know, even if it went, she went independent, I would be the heir, but no, that's not how that works. I could kill this dude. Let's try and do that, see what the heir becomes when I kill this dude. He's in prison, so it's not exactly going to be difficult. I haven't had a feast in a while. I should have a feast. At this point, Lotharingia uh, should be my primary target, because there's not much of Bavaria that I don't have at this point. I should say that is still Bavaria at this point. A message about call to arms against the King of England. Oh, England has formed. Yeah, sure, I'll go to war with England. I lose the trade Gregarious. Good lord, I'm just hemorrhaging traits. It's kind of an issue. I'm at war with England now. You're incapable. King Wolfmeyer of England. I'm 
pretty sure Scotland's got that without me, especially since I have barely any boats. 46 boats, that's actually a decent amount. Not gonna go over there, but you know, it's a decent amount. Plus England's being carpet sieged, it looks like. Not doing too well there. Yeah, Scotland's got that under control. So what is this over? Scottish claim on Wessex. What? What's going on here? There's a lot of duchies. So these three counties? So Scotland's going to claim those three counties, apparently. Also, they're pushing in England. Scotland may form the uh, Britannia. Empire of Britannia. It's possible. I will spend what little money I have on culture points. We're getting to the point where we need a billion points to actually do anything, because I believe we're actually technically ahead. Slightly ahead on everything. It's also getting to the point where it's just that high that it takes a billion points anyway. Scottish claim on Wessex has ended. Okay. Scotland now owns Wessex. So, good job, Scotland. Jorvik Catholic? They are. I was hoping they weren't, so maybe Scotland... Although if they weren't, Scotland would have done holy wars for Jorvik. Which give them a large chunk of Britannia. Which is good on them. Are you at peace? Technically, no. What can I claim? I can claim that. I would like to claim entire duchies if I do any claims, because it's just... I don't want to waste a whole bunch of time, basically. 7, 9, 10. What do I have? A lot more than that. I still really wish I could get rid of the people who owned that crap. I really do. My son. Prince Moomin of Germany? Wait, what? We have King, King Moomin the Great of Germany and France. And Prince Moomin of Germany. What? Is one of my sons named Moomin? Apparently one of my children is Moomin, so we have Moomin who had a Moomin. You know what? I haven't checked in a while. Where is... Um, that's not what I want, is it? Dynasty tree? Where is... There's Akasha. Akasha's dead. She died of natural death at the age of 75. She had... Two children, one of which is still alive. That line of the family tree is not doing terribly well. Eh, it may do alright. House Von Hanu. So that's completely technically out of this family. They are no longer considered kinsmen or anything, so. Akasha has effectively produced three kinsmen. Good job, Akasha. Whereas. King Moomin here has produced many. Actually, he's not. He's produced three. He's produced another minion, though, so apparently he's a self-reproducing creature. There's Moomins create other Moomins, and then it's just a perpetual cycle of Moomin dictatorship of Germany. That's how it all started. I'm basically just passing time here. I'm gonna go ahead and end the set with, on that note of Moomin dictatorship of Germany. Hooray! I'm gonna go ahead and end this set some decent progress has been made. We're actually making pretty good progress towards our initially stated goal. Finally. It took ages, but hey. Gotta start somewhere, I guess. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.